means a lot, uh, you know, growing up in Ohio, uh, knowing about the rivalry, being a college football fan. It's uh, the biggest rivalry in college football, in my opinion, and uh, we grew up watching it, so um, it's exciting to be a part of it. And uh, can't wait to get back to Ohio and, and play. Does this game mean more to you or to the guys on the games on the schedule? Yeah, I think so. I mean, personally, it means a lot for me. And then in the locker room as well, you know, uh, you know, trying to win the East and uh, get to the in Indiana and in championship game, and uh, being Ohio State, it means even more. So uh, we're gonna be excited for this week and uh, hopefully come out and win. Steve, what's something about Coach Brown that you see that maybe we don't see that that you cherish most about him? He's the same every week. <clears throat> You're gonna get the same Coach Brown every day. Uh, a lot of uh, passion to the game, a lot of passion in his coaching, in his teaching, and uh, I'm just thankful to have him in these last three years. And uh, uh, I'm excited. And, uh, now that our time's coming down to an end, I'm gonna miss him a lot. A lot, Larry. Uh, if you were giving a scouting report on your defense uh, to someone who had never seen it, what would you say? I mean, uh, we, we play we play hard, we play fast, um, we're aggressive. Um, you know, we're always gonna stay in attack mentality. With this game being this magnitude, Big Ten championship, you know, national championship hopes on the line, how do you avoid being too hyped up, too tight? I feel like we've been in big games all year. Um, like Coach Harbaugh has been saying this last game, that every game is a championship game, and that's, that's how we're taking it. We haven't got too high emotional or, or, or too low about the game. Uh, we know we're going to face adversity. Sometime in that game Saturday, we just got to stick together and, uh, you know, play well and, and uh, just trust each other. Right here. Uh, do you view Ohio State as vulnerable right now coming off of that Maryland game that was an uh, unexpected shootout? No, no, one bit. Uh, we're going to be the best Ohio State team on Saturday. Uh, it happens every year. You know, we're going to bring our best. They're going to have their best ready. And we're going to see what happens Saturday. When you guys played Michigan State, you came out here and there was very little said to try to create any bulletin board material, but then afterwards, when you guys could have written books about the stuff that you had behind the scenes, where there will be books afterwards, are there books being written behind the scenes right now that we don't know about, about what you guys have cooking inside your locker room against Ohio State? We're just focused on breaking them down. It's early in the week right now. Uh, we're going to start by breaking them down. We started already by breaking them down Monday. We're going to keep keep going with the scouting report, uh, you know, come up with our game plan and try to execute it as good as we can Saturday. On the left, Jeff. Harbaugh made a lot of changes in the offseason this year. I wonder if you've seen any change in him over the last year. Um, I, I've, I, don't, I haven't seen much change. I've seen the same passionate guy that, that wants to win, that wants to be there for his players. Uh, he's, a, he's, a very, he's a player's coach, in my opinion. He's always there for us. Um, I haven't seen much change. And, uh, uh, like I said, you could say he's a little bit more happier than we're winning now. Nick? Terry, you guys have had adversity that you've gone through this year. You've gone through it in the past. Not always the case. What's been the difference, the main difference about this group that you've been able to get through those valleys? Uh, I think just trusting each other. Uh, my time here at Michigan, I feel like this is the closest group that uh, that we've had since I've been here. Um, you know, everyone likes each other in the locker room. Everyone's excited for other people's uh, success. And uh, that's, that's bringing us a long way. <coughs> So, you know, as we face adversity throughout these last couple of games this year, we're going to have to stick together. And why is that happening? Why is this? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I, think, I feel like we're an older group. Uh, a lot of us have been together for like two to three years now, and we're clicking in all cylinders. Um, you know, we love each other. Uh, we're happy for everyone's success. Whoever's doing good on offense, whoever's doing good on defense, we're proud of them. And uh, I think that, that uh, carries a long way. I was going to say, pardon me, uh, I was going to ask about uh, Haskins. And have you kept a, I mean, did you watch Ohio State all season to keep tabs on what they're doing and, and what do you make of him? Yeah, I mean, I've paid attention quite often throughout the year. Um, he's a good player. Uh, as we all seen what he did when he came in last year, uh, had great poise, controlled the game really well. I mean, uh, he's doing extremely, extremely good this year. I think he just uh, broke their, their record. Uh, so. He's, uh, he's definitely going to be a challenge. Uh, he has great weapons on the outside of him, two good running backs. Uh, they're a great offense, and uh, we're excited to play against him in the offense and you know, compete very well.